Yo, 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 everybody. I'm going to continue working on the factory. I did want to update you guys uh, between episodes. Basically, a couple things happened. I realized that with the iron coming up, it was coming up right here. And with it coming up right next to the hoppers, uh, the hitbox that I was talking about last episode was actually making it so some of the iron got caught. And we'd lose like a couple of stacks and just them getting caught here. And going up and you also notice that we don't have the bubbles in this one any longer that's because at the bottom of this occasionally a couple would get stuck I don't know if you guys know this but uh, let's see I have some soul sand here I can show you so soul sand is slightly well you can't see it dang it you can't see it but you can feel it like if I'm facing forward soul sand is slightly lower just a hair I don't know if you guys can see when I get onto the soul sand it's just slightly lower anyway I think that contributes to some actually getting like under the bubbles or something some of the iron and again I'd lose like a, a stack or two just to to them getting stuck there like one would get stuck and then others would group with it and then you just lose those so between that and that I'd be like losing like three or four stacks per you know every five minutes or so and that's that's a lot of stacks I, I, I figured this was worth it I just timed it from the time that it leaves the dropper down there to the time that the iron comes up and hits this hopper it's like 40 seconds and with the rate at which they go around these things, that'd be maybe an extra 10 or 12 seconds. Um, it could be as much as a minute. And it still would get all the way around without despawning. So I think that's the way we're going to go with it. So anyway, I just wanted to update you guys on that. So like I said, I had to move it out one block, which actually gives us like this weird, I guess, look at it out here. It's not like my best move ever but I had I needed the form over the funk I mean the function over the form in this case I might like right here bring out some kind of little wooden thing just so it kind of looks better maybe with some slabs like these are supposed to be supports that come up and support this little thing so we might do something like that I also <laughs> there was glass here I really don't care if the poppies do that. So the poppies get an elevator. They can get stuck at the bottom. They can get stuck up here. That's all fine. You might have seen last episode that I had hoppers coming this way and then another dropper. And then I was going to hook up a clock. And then I was like, wait, I don't care about poppies. <laughs> so poppies come here. They drop into this hopper. They go down to this chest here. They'll fill up this chest. This hopper, that hopper, that hopper. And then after that... They'll slide on over, slide around, and then slide straight off of here and into there. I actually blew, accidentally dropped some glass in there and it just like shot into the lava. Like, didn't even hit the water. So, that's okay with me. I don't know if you guys can hear it. I've turned my sounds way down. But, if you're standing here, you can hear both of the, the clocks go off every time. And it's really annoying. I would change it because the pistons also make a bunch of noise, but it's also a bunch of the droppers. You hear the click, 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 click. That's the droppers. That's going to make, make that noise no matter what. And since so much iron is going through, you're going to hear that almost no matter what. I thought about a way to improve that design a little bit, and I'm not sure it would actually improve it. <laughs> uh, basically, long story short, it would force a stack to be in there and I was wondering if that would make it make those observers stay up but I don't think so I think it would just have the stack how much ever it would take to get to extend the pult basically the idea was here let me get some of this stuff basically the, you would have the dropper here and out here would be a couple of redstone lines and then you would have the piston and such right except 
Like, okay, let me, I can actually, I think I have a dropper. I can probably illustrate this for you guys. So basically, let's, let's actually build this up so I can, so we can see. Uh, yep, this will work. So, I have a little cat. I don't know if I mentioned that, but the cat dropped by and I was like, hey, kitty. And then I sat him down before he could run into the, uh, like our last cat, before he could run into there. So, like, okay, so the original one basically looks something like this, right? So, get the observer, you face it that way, get the observer, and face it. <laughs> face it that way. All right. And we get our dropper right here, right? And this is the way it looks, and this is what happens. This is what's supposed to happen, but what really happens is that it gets fed by a hopper. So let me illustrate this. So it gets fed by a hopper, and what really happens is that. And that's fantastically annoying. The, the, the pulse is still the same, so the clock still works, but it's just really annoying. So my idea was to take this part. I didn't mean to do that. Tag, nab it. Okay, let's just that. That goes back in there. So this guy stays the same. But part of my idea, I'm pretty sure I just, nope. Okay, so part of my idea was like, take this, right? Or take it two blocks, actually. Take it, putting the wrong thing down. Take it there, put a block there, I think. I don't know, I don't know if this will work. Put that there, and basically we're going to need the other observer to go that way. Uh, here. Nope, that's not going to work. Uh, that, that. Okay, so now it's working. Okay, so. This is the idea, okay? So this forces more items to be in here so it can go two links and then it'll power everything. But I do believe that once we get everything in there, it's still, it's gonna stack up to a certain point. Like this is stacking up, right? But it's still gonna like go back and forth. Yep, see so what? And actually it's even worse now because it's not doing it constantly. At least the other way just is top 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 top. Um Wow that that's really annoying. See and now it would just build up again. So that's not gonna work either. And I, I kind of realized that before I built it, and so that's I just wanted to show you guys really quickly, like why it wouldn't work. I think the reason they pop up and down is they've added some zero tick into the game, and that that's messing with the design a little bit, but not enough to where it doesn't work, just so it kind of makes it annoying. So that's a thing, yeah. Let's just get all that redstone-y goodness in there. And I'm going to put some things up. Basically, I just saw that. Uh, that goes in here. Okay. So, basically, today, like I said, I would like to continue work on the factory. I will have to do a lot of gathering of clay which is going to be a real pain in the boutoir I don't even know if you can find clay above ground but I think you're gonna have to find I'm gonna have to find it in the ocean and I'm gonna have to find it in the swamp the swamp is not a big deal uh, whoops 
Hello, Iron. So, I'm going to have to do a lot of resource gathering and then a lot of smelting. Oh, I'm tempted to build like a mini super smelter. <laughs> a mini super smelter. Can we hear that? Okay, so like my current one is just one furnace. I would make it like four furnaces or something like that. I really want to make a real super smelter at some point. Uh, this is totally impassable now. So, that's a thing. But anyway, okay. I'm going to be back in just a little bit. Okay, guys. So, this is the progress to smelt. And it went through like... 25 buckets of lava or something like that a lot and it looks pretty gross right now it's just a box of brick I we're gonna add windows to it and I'm kind of thinking just pretty simple windows uh, going too up or too high or not too high too too wide and how many is that one two three four maybe five tall I mean, that is a pretty big window. Let's look back at it. Um, hmm. Let's see. I don't know if I like that. I almost want a two wide, three tall. No. I, I almost like this idea that this is the window for, like, the strip. How did you? I seriously end up with, like, the strangest things. Although, he can't get to me right here. Um, <laughs> damn it. Dang it. Okay. Uh-oh. Crap. Hi. You can't get to me that way. But I can get to you. That was a miss. Okay, he's dead. Wow, that was super weird. Is that the guy? Oh, that was the guy that was down here already. Also, I put minecarts down there. Uh, there are 25 on top of each other, and if we go down here, you can kind of hear it. Like, <laughs> they're just wandering around. Uh, you get 15 minute, 15 minutes, 15 blocks away, and you can't hear it anymore. That's fine. Same kind of thing with those guys. Kitty. Okay. Um. But yeah, we built this up, and I think it's all going to be the same height, so that like you're looking out over your factory from here, and you can kind of see everything, and we have this height. Now, I was kind of thinking, because, well, for one, I will say that this stopped, because I got some iron golems where they weren't supposed to be. I got one on the beds over here, and I got one stuck like right up there which was really bad but we have all this iron <laughs> I'm thinking like building like a, a chute or something out of iron kind of like a, a chimney chimney yeah uh, chim chimney chim 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 anyway so we could do it that way and I'm leaning towards that I'm actually leaning towards like a circular thing because I was going to do something that kind of was like a bell shape, but then I was like, wait, the the iron golems might be able to spawn on the outside of it. So it might have to be a solid, or not a solid cylinder, basically a hollow cylinder, but one where they can't spawn on top of it, and they still have to fall down this thing. I'm also going to have to raise these things because occasionally I get an iron golem in the factory itself. Um, I guess I could, like label him a guard I don't know I might not because once again I don't want like the villagers escaping and all that stuff that's really gross huh anyway I just want to give you guys an update of the factory and where we're going with it I really don't know about the windows so I do like the idea of like I don't know, going like another two and then having another window right there. At least, I gotta get the bricks. <laughs> so, having something like that going on. Oh, actually, no, I'm kind of starting to like the three highs. The three highs with that little gap right there. Hmm, that's looking pretty good. 
Now, do I want them two apart? That's the other question. Let's see. Let's look back. This actually looks pretty nice. Oh, I wish the I wish these windows could be a little taller. But in the back, they might be three tall, and then maybe on the sides, no. Well, on the sides, they might be able to be four. No, it's gonna have to be three. Those over there could be a little taller. And I'm going to have to do something with this area right here because it looks gross. Let's see if I just... Let's let's measure this out. If Will this fit for one? So, skip two. Break out two. Skip two. That's not going to work. <laughs> then you have this weird set. Okay. Um... What happens if we skip three? All right, so let me actually do that. I need to get some scaffolding. Okay, and we break out. I think it's going to be too far apart. We might have to go the other direction with it. Here, let me get, get my bricks back. Okay, bricks are too valuable to leave. Yet three apart doesn't really look good either. At least not without like wider windows. Maybe if we did wider windows, like a three wide window. How does that like a three by three? Um, not too bad. Not too bad. So like, what if we just did three there? I know it's getting dark. Get both bricks back. And put that there. Oh, well, that could be something. Gonna have to measure it out, see if it works, but we'll be fine. See the iron golems dropping in the background? Okay, I'm gonna be back in just a bit. Alright guys, so we're window where my crosshairs are right now. I uh, haven't done the windows right here yet. I haven't figured those out. I was just trying to get the walls in. I started putting in blocks for the support on the bottom, which looks good, except it's really flat. I don't really like how flat it is, so I think we're going to have to add some depth to it. I do like how the factory has a little depth to it as well. It's not just one big block. Uh, the entrance is down there, and I'm standing on top of a spruce tree, in case you're wondering. And then I think the uh, the tower is going to look really good. Especially if we bring it on, like, up there. Oh, I gotta go. <laughs> I don't know if I needed that rocket. But, used it anyway, so too late now. So, our next so basically I'm gonna keep carving out windows I keep running out of blocks but again the windows take out a lot of bricks so let's see what we've got here and I can show you quickly so this is why I came up with a solution on the back there's three here that's a two wide window that's a two wide window and those are two three wide windows over here they're all three three wide windows and three tall windows and that works out pretty well on this side this side over here we have like like a two wide window and then a three wide and a three wide but they don't go all the way down because then you'd be looking at dirt and I just thought that would look a little weird uh, so we could either pull out this dirt or I think since it's built into the mountain really just keep that dirt there and have the windows here now granted no, the windows don't have anything in them yet but they will and we will they're gonna be glass panes I'm kinda just baiting on the color right now I'm thinking black or white just opposite ends uh, black kinda makes it a little more ominous on what's going on inside especially with looking at all these hoppers these will stay as they are so that's a thing I, I don't think I want to go clear glass on this 
I definitely wanted to add some color to it. And uh, now I gotta figure out the windows on these huge walls over here and figure out how I'm gonna add a little depth here. I know like on a lot of these, oh, that's gonna be tricky, but maybe above, I don't know. We're gonna add some lamps and such and we might actually add the the new lamps. I say the new lamps. They're new to me. I do not know what they're called. The lanterns, yeah I do. Oh, uh, I don't know how to make the lanterns. I don't think it's added to my recipe book either. I'll have to look it up. I think it's iron nuggets and something, maybe a torch or something. I don't actually know. It should be in my book, shouldn't it? I guess not. Nope, don't have it there, so, hmm, don't know. But we can we can try to look through things I do want to add some lighting on the outside of this make it look good might add I was thinking putting support columns on the outer on like the, the corners here I don't know if I'd put them here and here going up or if I'd put them on the very corner and just add a little depth to it I might be iron and then down here, since this looks a little odd brick to the, basically I'm calling it mooring, but it's, uh, what is it, foundation? So brick to foundation. What I'm thinking is bringing this brick out one. I just don't have the brick to do it, and I want to keep that brick on the inside anyway. So I think that will work, add the little depth that we need. And I, I really want to do something here, maybe something. Stairs? I don't know. Maybe a block across? And then like the... Eh? Maybe a block across on the... This one? So we get like a... Thing there? I don't know. I have to think about it. I like this. I like the way it looks from far away. But right up close it looks awful. Okay. So, anyway, that's where we are, and I'm going to be back in just a little bit. I know we're running, I think we're like at 20 minutes or so. So, it's either 20 minutes or 30 minutes. So, I'm going to figure out the windows, and then I'll be back with you guys in just a bit. Okay, guys, so we're back, and I've pretty much finished out everything that I wanted to finish out this episode. The... I think it's looking pretty good. The The windows, I changed up on that section since it's the skeleton section. I went with four high and two rows on this one with a three, three block in the middle. Basically, I just tried to make it so that the, the windows were relatively evenly distributed. I, there, there's some give and take in that because I didn't plan this out beforehand. So, yeah, we have quite a lot that we finished today. Like I said, I do kind of want to do something with this foundation. Obviously, I still need to do the roof. And I still don't know what I'm doing with this. I said I wasn't going to do a block. But at the same time, like a just a block that, you know, one that's... I said I was going to do a cylinder, but I'm not sure either of those makes sense. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't know. So we'll, we'll have to play with it and see what happens. Also, I was looking, I saw a couple of iron golems hop up on the fence. So I might have to make the fences too high or something or something. I also had the idea that I could, hello, iron golem, that I could maybe do signs on the side. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. I don't think. Well, no. If I do... Okay, so you don't want them falling off the side. So that's... Never mind. Okay. So, yeah. I think that's probably the end of the episode. Uh, you can see I've been experimenting with out lights right here. And I just can't get the spacing right. 
also I can't get a good idea of what I want to do for the hanging. Right now I've got le levers and I think those look pretty good but I would like some spacing here. So maybe I'll do fence posts. I tried lanterns but they're too small for the scale of this build. It looks like little dinky I don't know lanterns basically like handheld lanterns that you hold in real life trying to light up the side of a building that's massive so I put also I put an iron door here because I thought it was kind of fitting put iron or uh, let's see light gray concrete powder right here just kinda gives you a path type feel to it that's not natural I think we're gonna probably do something with the front of this building too but then you go inside pressure plate to get out let's see we did a wall here I'm thinking of putting andesite kinda up the side as if it's holding the mountain back kind of like we did right here it's again kinda holding the mountain back right here and we have some supports and all that stuff so we might do something similar on this end we can't have windows on this side because well it'd be looking into a mountain that's not super fun let's see put some I put some wow can I not fly for a second also got another cat put some fences right here with lanterns on top of them now see this is a good scale because this is just a fence post that, that's what it's supposed to be so the fences feel pretty good right here I think you'll be basically looking over the iron production slash killing of the iron golems and I wanted to point this out holy crap I have so much iron it is ridiculous we're definitely building this tower out of iron blocks because we can if you think about it each row of these is a stack of iron blocks and so I have six so I basically have one two three four five times six thirty stacks thirty stacks of iron blocks holy crap okay anyway <clears throat> so we got plenty let's see like I said between episodes probably add a roof on this thing get it all finished up but I did want to come back with you guys just to show you what I've been doing I might because it looks like I have maybe three or four minutes before the end of the episode. I might come back and show you guys progress, at least at the end of the day. I've been working on this for like hours and hours. And good lord at the rates on this thing. <laughs> is there any wonder? Like this has only been running for like, well, I mean, admittedly, it ran overnight while the clay was smelting. Sort of because I had some hiccups so anyway it, it's running it's flawless it's great uh, actually yeah I'll do an update in just a few minutes see or I'll do an update in just a bit it'll be for just a few minutes I'll see this before this guy dies he's wearing full diamond gear what I saw this guy passing by and I was like wait what had to make sure I had my guy diamond gear still on. Dude, check this guy out. Fully decked out in diamond armor. Uh, I'm gonna try this just to see if it works. Okay, so what I'm trying here is trying to get some of that diamond loot for my stealth. It doesn't look like I got any of it. That sucks. Uh, oh well. Why do I have two? Anyway. Ha, oh well. What? C'est la vie. Um. That was so weird. I'm, I'm glad I got it on video. Okay, anyway, I'll be back in a bit.
pretty good. It's not exactly what I wanted, but it's pretty good. What I really wanted was to step it in a bunch, but you can see right on this side right here, those are the um, the edges of the villager things. The, that's where the extra, what is that thing called? The, uh, the, the composter is? That is the composter right there. That's where the three things are. It's on the other side too. This was as tight as I could get the the circle uh, so it wouldn't bleed off the roof and also so it wouldn't interfere with the the villagers too much so the only thing I can figure to do is to lop off some of this at the top and maybe go in by one go to a different material and try to get a, a little bit of a step that way maybe like as a chimney stack or something like that but I mean, all in all, I really like the way this looks. I think we might have to go inside and do some pillars or something uh, to make it look like it's supported <laughs> because right now inside it's just supported by glass and that is massive. Um, so anyway, I, you know, I relatively like the way it turned out. Obviously, we've got some glowstone to put in around the sides. But that is all I have time for today. So if you guys like the episode, please leave a like on it. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Also, scaffolding is my new favorite block.